Welcome to Weymouth. We're towards the south end of Weymouth Bay and we're firstly going to head around the harbour area. But a quick look at the award winning beach. It's consistently recognised as one of the top 10 beach destinations in Europe. The Weymouth Pavilion, formerly the Ritz. The complex contains a 988 seat theatre, a 600 capacity ballroom known as the Ocean Room, piano bar restaurant, risk cafe, as well as other function and meeting rooms. Here there are boat trips taking around an hour. That sea cruise from Weymouth Harbour through Weymouth Bay and Portland Harbour, taking in the views of the forest castles, Jurassic Coast, and visiting shipping and local wildlife. Weymouth is one of the busiest lifeboat stations on England's south coast. It operates two lifeboats. The Custom House is a former custom house operated by HM Customs to handle the trade of Weymouth Harbour. The building, which has origins in the late 18th century, has been made Grade 2 listing since 1970. Now a cafe is serving breakfast, lunches, coffee and homemade cakes and scones.
The town bridge is lifted to allow boats to access the inner backwater of Weymouth Harbour known as Weymouth Marina. The bridge opened in 1930. It is the sixth to have been built across the harbour since 1597. The hydraulically operated bridge is raised every two hours during the summer. WY-37 Nicola Al is a fishing vessel built in 1984 which targets mussels. Brewers Keys converted Victorian brewery. Much of the complex dates back from around 1904 when it was built as the Hope Brewery for John Groves and Sons. The historic site closed down in July 2017 and has since fallen into a state of disrepair. Previous owners who secured permission to transform the site into luxury homes went bust in February 2001.
further along the quayside here is North Fort. I didn't manage to see this time, but maybe I'll film on a future trip. It's well worth a visit. The Weymouth Land Train is an ideal way to discover Weymouth Seafront's iconic bridge and historic harbour. We will see it several times during our tour. We're now crossing back over Town Bridge to see the marina area. The Weymouth Harbour Tramway, almost all known as the Key Branch or Harbour Line, was a heavy rail line running entirely on the streets of Weymouth from a junction to the north of Weymouth Station to Weymouth Key Station at the harbour. Built in 1865, it was last used for timetable British Rail services in 1987, with the last special train running in May 1999. We've headed back to the Esplanade and we'll work our way up the seafront. This award winning sandy beach is overlooked by a Georgian seafront located at the heart of the Jurassic Coast. Here is a sand sculpture by Sandworld. You can visit them at the Sandworld site which is just off the Preston Beach Road at the northern end of the bay. Alexander Gardens Amusements and Rides gets very good reviews and was very busy during our visit. St Albans Street, mostly Georgian, this busy thoroughfare contains some older buildings such as the Tudor Milton Arms. We're going to head into the town centre later. The statue of Sir Henry Edwards. Sir Henry was a 19th century Liberal MP for Weymouth from 1865 to 1885 who is best remembered for setting up a charities trust which bears his name.
there are plenty of activities on offer along a beach, such as punch and duty shows, donkey rides, amusements, a fun fair and peddlers for hire. An unexpected fly pass from a Chinook helicopter. Shows are very well used here. The Royal Hotel is an impressive building of intricate architecture built in a free Renaissance style and boasting fantastic views over the beach and bay. Weimar played a major role in the invasion of France during the Second World War. 
This memorial erected on the Esplanade was unveiled in December 1947 in memory of the more than half a million servicemen who passed through Weymouth from Portland to the beaches of Normandy between June 1944 and the end of the war in May 1945. The beach continues for a long, long way yet, with a Sea Life Centre, Mini Golf, Sand World and a Premier Inn, to mention just a few attractions. But we're going to head to the railway station to start our tour of the town centre. Weymouth Station was opened in 1857 as part of the Great Western Railway and featured a glazed roof across the platforms, though that striking feature was removed during the Second World War. The current buildings were opened in 1986 as part of an extensive refurbishment to deal with the increased holiday traffic. The Jubilee Clock Tower on the Esplanade was built and erected in 1888 to commemorate the 1887 Golden Jubilee of Queen Victoria. We are briefly back on the Esplanade, working our way back down the other side, which will lead us into the town centre. It was George III who helped make Weymouth the first fashionable seaside resort in the early 19th century. This replica of the machine used by the Royal on his first visit in 1789. He would change into his bathing costume while the horse-drawn carriage was pulled into the sea. He visited regularly as he believed Weymouth's bathing waters had healing properties. The King's statue was installed in 1809, the year which marred the Golden Jubilee of King George III.
Once at the heart of Weymouth's nighttime economy, the Clipper, formerly by Acuda and the Rectory, closed down in October 2013 when its owners, the Bramall Pub Group, went into administration. White Hart is a great local pub in the heart of the community with friendly service. We spent about an hour in here, enjoyed our food and drinks, and very reasonably priced. The Nautical Lounge Restaurant, one of the group of lounges. The building used to be an old post office, dating back from 1907. St Mary's Church is a Church of England parish church built to Portland Stone around 1815. The church has been described as having an austere design in a palladium mould. It's early evening, so the town is a little quieter, but still quite a few people around. We've covered most of the main streets of the town centre. I appreciate that there's still much more to see and explore. Weymouth is well worth a visit. I hope you've enjoyed our walking tour. Help me to continue bringing you improving content by subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Thanks for watching.
please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, enable notifications so you don't miss the next episode. See you next time.